Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Matt here with Matt's Movie Reviews. And, uh, I, um, it, sorry, I just got a text message. I haven't made any movie reviews for a couple months. I've just been, I kind of gave up. I felt like no one really cared. <laughs> if they don't, I, maybe it's true. But anyways, my good friend Donnell Cooper hit me up today and he's like, Bro, why didn't why didn't you make a review for Deadpool yet? And I was like, I just kind of gave up on making movie reviews. I got, didn't feel very motivated. And um, him saying that was enough to make me do it. So I'm gonna do basically the last six movies I've seen in one review, and then uh, Deadpool will be the main part of it. But anyways, first of all. My friend Donnell Cooper, he's he's got these he's got an Instagram, uh, Facebook, and a YouTube that someone just made that he just made. It's D, period, Coop C O O P spa, uh, space music, and if you could go follow that, uh, like it, subscribe, whatever it is, it would be greatly appreciated. He's a producer, a musician, and he's a really good person, a good friend of mine. It means a lot to me. Uh, so, okay. We're going to do basically five movies quick. Uh, Dirty Grandpa. Right up the same alley as Hangover. Uh, those type of movies. Like, R-rated comedy movie. Dirty, hum you know, drugs. Sex humor. Cuss words. F-bombs. It's funny. It was entertaining. If you, I mean, if you're... If you like comedies, it'd be worth it. Uh, okay, uh, the next one, Ride Along 2 with Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. That was, that, I mean, how, a lot of people are like, wow, what a stupid, maybe think like, oh, what a waste of a movie or how boring, but that actually, oh, uh, the Beamer, oh no, Subaru, sorry, I'm watching Cars Race right now. Um, the, uh, it was funny. Ride Along 2 was funny. It was wholesome, it wasn't, it wasn't like, really inappropriate that I remember and it has a lot of cool cars in it that you don't see every day like Jaguars and uh, this souped up Chrysler 300 that is pretty cool so Ride right Along 2 was entertaining I liked it um okay Ride right Along 2 Zoolander 2 mm, I like Ben Stiller a lot and he's freaking funny but it wasn't as good as other Ben Stiller movies like uh heavyweights and meet the parents and it was good it was funny it was i mean what can you expect from zoolander 2 you know it wasn't uh, it's it's just another comedy movie if, you, if your sense of humor is all stuck up you're not gonna really get a kick out of it and then uh let's see uh so that's oh the other two are a little more serious the revenant the one with leonardo dicaprio i think is how you say it. that movie was cool that was a, that was really really. Uh, it was it was kind of it was long. It was that was a cool movie though. I'd want to watch it again. It's it's really action. It had a lot of action. It was gory. The only thing I didn't like about it was some of the sh scenes that they shot were like, like they tried to make it like almost like 3D or like a video game or maybe it's a 3D movie. I'm not really sure, but I didn't like it. I liked it. I would have liked it better if it was shot like traditional or. Whatever this effect was that they were using, I didn't really like it. But, um, and then after that, uh, The Witch, which that movie, I was expecting like, you know, a horror movie, right? But honestly, that movie is like more like a play. It's a really classy horror movie. It's really, it's like, it's like The Crucible or something like that, you know? It's, it's like, uh, it's really more dialogue and dramatic. It's, it's really, really a dramatic movie it's not it's not a whole bunch of like pop up in your face i mean there's some creepy stuff in it and it's a freaky movie that makes you think and it's really if you like classic horror movies it's good i mean but it's not the same as going to see you know like insidious or paranormal activity it's it's like a almost like more of a history you know it's like a play it feels like you're watching a play but it was pretty weird and it ends it's crazy it's a weird movie and it it could be kind of disappointing if you're if you're expecting something a little more exciting but not a not a, it was very 
classy and well made in my opinion it seems like they put a lot of thought for the most part it, it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel like a cheap movie and that leads me to Deadpool the and then I'll be caught up and I didn't I'm not gonna make all different reviews so hopefully this will be enough but um Deadpool and Donnell told me to say make sure I say that I'm not a comic book reader I'm not a big movie uh, comic movie fan I'm not a Marvel person more if you are that's cool that's a good thing that's a good thing but I didn't really I wasn't really very motivated to see Deadpool but I uh, and someone asked me to go see it with him so I just told him I would and uh, so it it was good it was funny there was some parts where the jokes f felt a little like overdone like kind of like dry it was the humor was too dry like but there was some good funny parts there was good action in it and the, and the whole part the whole movie he's like going back and forth and talking to you as uh as the viewer of the movie it was very entertaining i wasn't i wasn't definitely wasn't disappointed never got bored in it but there was just a couple parts where the hum the humor got a little like it seemed a little forced but it i could see why people would really like that movie it's got boo it's got lots of boobs in it i mean can't really argue with that except unless you're gonna take your kid to see it but um it's yeah they go to the strip club and all that but uh it was it was pretty cool it wasn't i, I kind of like more serious movies that's just my tastes For comedy movies i can watch the stupidest comedy movie and enjoy it but i'm not gonna sit there and be like wow that made me that changed my life it made me think about life differently but I like serious movies that really make me question life. Not life, question my thoughts, question my choices, my beliefs. But, you know, comedy movies, some people, like, can't watch stupid comedy movies. I love them. They're hilarious to me. But, like, that movie, it just, it was, the way they advertised it so over the top, Deadpool, I kind of was like, I don't know if I want to see it so much. It just didn't really catch, but it was good. I liked it. It was funny. I laughed. I, I... I got into the story. I didn't never knew about it. It was good. It was worth seeing. But anyways, uh, I hope everyone out there on Facebook's doing good. I got love for everybody. I pray for everybody out there on all my friends on Facebook. Life is crazy, you know. All all of our choices. Think about think about all the choices you're making each day, and thank God for for what He's doing in your life because you never know when things might change or you know. Uh, Things can change really fast, but just you know, if you if your family's still around, tell them you love them and uh, just keep on counting your blessings in life, you know. But until next time, later.